Hello, Michael Yusuf here. Blessed New Year. I pray that this new year be the year of blessing and the year of fruitfulness for the Lord in your life and in your family's life. May He continue to bless you in a new way this new year. Thank you for responding to the appeal last month. Thank you for helping us to make it to the finish line. Because of what you have done, God is now opening new doors for us. And I pray that God will use us both, you and me, together in a unity to serve Him throughout this coming year. You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. Faithful Forever by Dr. Michael Youssef. God has been dependable in the past, providing for us in every twist and turn of life. He is trustworthy, and He holds our future in the palm of His hand. There are incredible examples of the faithfulness of God in my life and in the life of this ministry, but I still believe with all my heart that we haven't seen anything yet. In the life of the Christian, the best is always yet to come. After all, eternity in the new heaven and the new earth awaits us. Just imagine a restored world, never-ending joy, perfect fellowship with God himself. As Revelation 21, 3 through 4 promises, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Our Lord is not going to bring us this far just to let us fall. He can be trusted to bring us safely to our eternal home, the place where our heart's deepest longings will finally find their satisfaction. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Say it out loud to yourself right now. Thus far, the Lord has been faithful, even dying for us. Therefore, we know that he will bring us through our present trouble to everlasting joy. He will never forget his people. So, my friends, be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's pray together. Lord, thus far, you have helped us. You are faithful, and we know you will bring us through the present trouble to everlasting joy in your presence. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. A verse of scripture to remember today, Titus chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. If today's devotional encouraged you, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a review and share this episode with a friend who needs to hear it. My devotional is a ministry of Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. To learn more, visit ltw.org today.